What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you that I am very excited about. This is the new Xbox 360 that was announced just a few days ago at E3. Bigger hard drive, new design, it uses less power, quieter, and it's got Wi-Fi and a few other cool things in there. So let me go ahead and dig in and show you what this looks like. Uh, the pricing scheme stays the same as the outgoing Elite model at $299. So here is the box. You've got a picture of the new console on the front. Sort of a shiny black, it's like a fingerprint magnet. What's inside, sleek new design, connect ready when that comes out. Xbox 360, 250 gigs. You've got now the Zune, Facebook, Netflix, Twitter, and Last.fm. Letting you know a kind of other cool features. A bit of more stuff on the box, showing some Xbox Live and people rocking out to connect. So this will be the box that's going to be sticking around for probably a while since connect's not coming out until the fall. And that looks like that is about it. Let's go ahead and dig in. It opens up the same way as the uh, outgoing model. There's a little sticker right there. We'll pull it off. And it just opens up. And at the last Xbox on the indication, they pack these things tight. So start here, set up. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this does have Wi-Fi built in, 802.11n, so if you've got an N router, you'll be getting very fast internet service and uh, pretty quick data transfer rates. We've got sort of sitting here on these foam rails. Pull the rails off and push the console off the side for just one second. I'll make it quick though and we'll see what else we get in the box. And definitely stick around to Techno Buffalo and uh, the YouTube channel, John Four Lakers. I'll be doing a comparison too of the console against the outgoing uh, Xbox 360 model. So here is the power brick, which looks to be a little bit smaller. Well, I will say the Xbox 360 power brick, the outgoing model, and again I'll compare them, uh, was huge. This one is now just giant. So not huge, but giant. It's got a new way to connect to the power in the back. So nothing terribly exciting to see there. We'll keep digging in and see what we get in the box. Of course, we have a headset, same headset we've seen sort of in the past. It's got the little microphone built in, and it's just a boom type headset, you know, with the mic that comes out to the side. We've got a controller, which is the same as all the other Xbox controllers, but I believe it is black and wireless. So there that is. Although the new button looks a little bit more chromey uh, than the older ones. And it comes with two Duracell, it looks like AA batteries. Very nice. We will keep digging in, see what else we get. Uh, cable wires, then we'll get to the console soon, I promise. The rest of the power cord. You've got some booklet uh, information. And lastly, we have a very odd, it's like a serial connector. If you want to connect this to your TV via old school, of course, HDMI um, is the way that I'm going to be going. So, enough of that. Tom Fuller, let's take a look at the console itself. Uh, it's very light. I'm actually surprised at how light it really is. Go ahead and pull all this stuff off. I probably enjoy this the one time I'm going to see it without fingerprints all over it. So here is the new Xbox 360. And I gotta tell you, that does look pretty nice. Uh, very slick looking, certainly a shiny fingerprint magnet. Uh, this is a touch button now, so nothing to push in. You've got your two sort of recessed USB ports right there, as we saw on the previous model. Uh, I think the hard drive is in here somewhere. I'm not so sure how that comes out. But the hard drive is still removable, but it's not sort of the big uh, proprietary S hard drive we've seen in the past. I believe it's now a standard hard drive format. All right, so we'll head on to the back. There is the new sort of power port that we've seen. We've got optical audio, that odd uh, AV cable, HDMI. There is, I believe, the new connect port right on top. And there is your Ethernet and three USB ports, uh, which now don't have to be taken up via one of the Wi-Fi dongles. On the other side, this is where the hard drive goes. You've got some more uh, grills, a lot of grills, a lot of vents on it. On the top, you can see there is a huge fan. Well, you can see that right in there. Uh, thing looks gigantic. Hopefully this thing runs uh, much quieter. And it does not have red LEDs in here. So even if it breaks, you'll not be getting a red ring of death. You'll probably now just get a green ring of death. Uh, so this is just a quick unboxing of the new Xbox 360. It is very slim, uh, very light. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it and using it. Anyway, guys, leave your questions down below. Anything you want to see, I'll be sure to show you. And uh, as I mentioned, I'll be doing a full comparison with the outgoing model as well. 
Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.